Hello, how are you doing? Um, this is Sally the Realtor and we are here at Coral Bells uh, to do a mini tour but then today we just want to do a special feature where we capture the journey of Coral Bells. So we'll be doing, uh, we'll be hearing from our Samurites who've been with us since the beginning of Coral Bells. Karibuni. Uh, hello good people, my name is Jesse Kamau. I'm a subcontractor at Savo and uh, basically I'm the person charged with the responsibilities of paint works. Nice, nice, nice. And how long have you been with us? Uh, I came here for in Corobels June 2019. Uh, the structural works were ongoing because of course uh, the paint works would come at the latter end having done almost all the uh, finishes they would include the plaster works the woodwork the electrical works because i'm the person who should pass the last person uh, after all other people so when i came i just started uh, the my own responsibilities having been trusted with uh, some uh, one or two projects by savo which are already complete like the 90 degrees so i came when i came here I was well versed with whatever I'm supposed to do mm -hmm. and exactly and expectations yeah. of the company yeah. which I'm really trying to do at my level best. My name is Kedias Lombasso and uh, here at Savo Coral Bells I'm working as a, just a, uh, not, not, I'm just a labor. Uh -huh. uh, nice. the, 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 the only thing, the only name to the joke is that mm -hmm. means, eh? I mean, uh -huh. Mkono means, uh, means a lot to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, the construction yes. of the whole building. Because, mm -hmm. because uh, you need, they need the experience and, uh, you know, yes. and that the work done, exactly. they should be assisted to. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So yes. my work is always to help the the the, the construct, the subcontractors yes. to make their work to be done. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So when do building when you actually this is my work yeah, exactly. yeah because all the because of all those uh, carrying of sands exactly. or bringing the stones to where it's supposed to be yes. you know it's my work exactly. my view for the first in fact the first time I came here yeah. uh, the construction was looking like skeleton something skeleton you know? skeleton because everywhere but uh, up to this time there's some not some they are 90 percent difference yes. from the day i came here the first day exactly. up to now yes. uh, because now there's some there's some tiling all over uh -huh. there's some uh cabros uh, the the and there's some uh, yeah. rangi meekwa you know imepakwa yeah it's looking nice in fact in fact you can come here and take a show a, a photo uh, you post it uh, you say something you, i've been course. posting all over exactly. in my status travel uh, travel lifestyle to trending okay i'm nicodemus kyoko Yes. We started this project since 2018, uh -huh. uh, March. March. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. We've been here since Tokachini, uh -huh. excavation, uh -huh. starting structure. Yes. We've been here for a There is no more challenges. We've been here for two years. Two years later, we've been here for a long time. We've been here for not more, not more than two weeks. We are going to live here mm -hmm. by next week, especially mm. when they are builders. Mm -hmm. This week, to talk. To back in our painters, our uh, interiors, na, uh, na landscaping. Na landscaping. So come along and let's see what Corobas has to offer. <laughs>
we've, we've had Kyoko today, we've had Kerias, and we've had Kamau. It's clear that nothing good comes without any challenge, but yet we're so happy that we now have a neighborhood defining building in Pindigua. Yeah? So now we just want to finish off with a few things in construction. Um, just the, as you've heard from the rest of the guys, it's more of cosmetic works. And yeah, so we are excited about that. We currently have tenants already in the building. And yeah, 70% occupancy is no mean feat. <laughs> and we're not taking it for granted. So we want to thank our tenants all, all also. We want to thank Thank you for joining our live. Today we're going to talk about the power of talk. Well, feel free to share, like, subscribe, and of course comment. And well, join our FIRE family on Facebook. The link down below on the comment section. Enjoy. Wonderful. Karibuni sana for another session of um, FIRE Friday. And I uh, thank you, Sally, the realtor, and your team <laughs> for yeah. a job well done. Yes, Kudo? yes. Yeah, you've done very well, Sally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice to know there's that side of you as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Let's pray. <laughs> uh, our dear Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for good health. And we thank you for the opportunity to even just share with our friends uh, during this session. We pray that you will be with us. We pray that we will learn a lot. And we pray we will just enjoy ourselves even in the process. Uh, we are doing this, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. So, Karibuni sana. Um, I, I always look forward to this, uh, to this uh, sessions. I, may, I don't know, maybe it's because I like talking a lot. Eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> at, at, yes, yes. Yes, you like uh, talking. <laughs> and, and today we are talking about uh, the power of talk. Yeah. Which reminds me of some, a song I had. Sababu uh, maneno <laughs> You're back with computer? Oops, sorry guys. Um, technical issues. I, I think something had gone wrong. I, please comment if you can see us now. Yeah. Uh, please uh, let us know so that we can, uh, we can carry on. So forgive us. I think it's part of the challenges of doing this thing live. So, Karibuni sana. Power of talk. I can see Gerald Kiragu all set and ready to learn as always. Uh, yeah. I don't know, any comments on your side? No, no comments. There's uh, Muet, Muetas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've joined. They've joined. Mm -hmm. uh, Bukachi, mm -hmm. uh, there's Simon, there's Feloch. Mm -hmm. There's a number of people on, Who uh, all joined on, yes, uh, on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. So, as usual, I'll be on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, Emily will be on um, Instagram yes. and, uh, and Facebook. So, the power of talk. Now, interestingly, I think uh, for talk to be powerful, these two uh, things have to be really, really involved. So, mm. I think the power of talk comes in the in the, in the listening. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So, I think we, we will we will start. And uh, later on, Emily will share um, some fruits, some fruit of talk. I think there's yes. some powerful fruit of talk. So. <laughs> As yeah. usual, uh, yeah. please get ready. We want to start uh, talking. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <coughs> as usual, we, we start with just some stories or experiences to, to really make it real so that it's not just a theory, but it's, it's really what we have lived. Mm. So, I'll start talking about our personal lives. Mm. Um, in these sessions, we've always said the way we, we used to talk a lot. Um, and so maybe that's one of the reasons we decided that, you know, maybe this can be a topic for today. Mm -hmm. So when, when we got married, we used to spend a lot of time talking. Um, and, and we were talking a lot because uh, we had very big dreams and we didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. So we spent a lot of time just writing down, you know, budgeting, analyzing how we are spending our money. Uh, so just, and that just kept us going. And, you know, one of the things that mom said is that, you know, when, we, when you talk a lot, um, you know, she, she, came to, she came home and she was wondering why we talk a lot, yeah? And, uh, and she said, because we have sorted out our money issue, which we were doing through the talking, our marriage was, you know, almost all sorted or 80% sorted. So, so, so we learned a lot from that. Um, I think it all started with premarital counseling. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we did premarital counseling so before. So to all the pastors of Nairobi Chapel, Mulit <laughs> Saidiya Sana. Sana. Um, yeah, so, so we, had, we had this big volume, and it had tips on everything, on, on communication, on how to deal with in-laws, 
And at the beginning, we spent a lot of time just revisiting, mm. rereading mm. what we had, we, what we had, uh, mm. we had been taught during mm. the primary. Of course, during primary classes, it's not a big deal. Mm. You think, mm. you know, marriage is all easy. Of course, we know. And we love Obviously, each other, so yeah. of course. But but when life begins, uh, things become a bit challenging here and there. You start having difficult conversations. So you go back to the manual to understand what were we taught and mm. can we apply. Mm. So I think our lessons of, of talking started there. Mm. And then it evolved into, into, into investments. Now it involved into a lot of discussions, the black book we talked about last mm. week, mm. Uh, a lot of budgeting and just tracking expenditure and planning ahead mm. and just having goals and dreams and, and planning for those. So that's, mm. that's, that's really where, where, where our talking began. And, and, and it has been powerful because of our differences, mm. that he's very different from me. Mm. So I would listen to his ideas and totally disagree. But we'd keep talking about it, analyzing it until we get to a consensus. Mm. So yes, so that's 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 been mm. that's been our journey when it mm. comes to talking okay. around our personal lives. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, marriage, investing, working together. Yeah. So mm. yes, yes. So mm -hmm. I mean, it has it has come all it has come yani, the whole way. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was mm. marriage first. Mm. Uh, it was raising the children mm. thereafter, mm. and I think investments and investment has just been the whole journey. Mm. And now finally it has come to working mm. and mm. we talk a lot even as we work together mm. Um, mm. Um, yeah we talk a lot and analyze mm. analyze um, even analyze business decisions together mm. and mm. and one of the things that as i talked about our differences in in terms of work as an example mm. um Mcharo sees his own who sees opportunities mm. first so he wakes up with this bulb moment mm. every other day of great opportunities bright, bright ideas um and, and, and I'm, the, I'm the one who sees the risks first. My, my no woman. Yeah. So I'll first see the risks and I will say no. Uh, but then I'll take time to explore. I'll take time to try and understand why, why do you think this is an opportunity here and there? And I will explore all the risks. Mm -hmm. And in the process of exploring the risks, then we'll, we'll talk again. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time you're making a decision, mm -hmm. it's either a no mm -hmm. or it's a clear yes. Mm -hmm. And there's consensus mm -hmm. because of the talking that we have, yeah. we've done. And when it's a yes, it's a yes from both of us, mm. and then we both rally behind the mm. the decision. Mm. Yeah, and that has that has really helped us it has, it has, along it the it way. It has worked yeah. so in, in so many ways. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, maybe I just add a little more about. Um, uh, I call it the kingly habit, the habit of seeking counsel, the habit of surrounding yourself with people who talk. You know, um, Steve Jobs famously said, don't hire people so that you can tell them what to do. Hire people so that they can tell you what to do. So kings seek counsel. Kings seek advice. Kings seek uh, yeah. listening. And I've really learned a lot. I, I read the Proverbs. I think you guys know. Um, my wife and I read the Proverbs, one proverb a day, every day. And I, I have to thank um, certain men called the Proverbs men. Mm. For, for introducing me to this habit and, and it's wonderful just surrounding yourself with people who are able to give you advice seeking wise counsel all the time and um, right now at Savo we are training leaders we are really really we are onto this leadership pipeline fanatically at the moment it's our big it's our current big thing and one of the things I'm telling our leaders is let's let's go a little against the grain what we are taught especially as Africans, is you listen up. Listen to those who are older than you, listen to those who are in, in more authority, and then you talk to the, to the younger yes, ones. Yeah. But I'm asking my guys, flip, flip it. Mm -hmm. Because you are king. So you have to listen to the guys you consider lower than you. Yeah. I mean, a president can, does not get advice from people higher than himself. He's, he's at the very top. He can only listen to those he has brought yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, on his council. So listening down yeah and if you have to speak 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 upwards yeah yeah so yeah. that's that's one of the things that we really really um uh, pay attention to in our leadership yeah the other thing that um we have learned and taken advantage of especially during this time of uh, COVID, yeah is um the understanding that um our investors mm. have can give us their money you know by investing they can give us their connections by referring. Yeah. But there's something we used to miss out a lot. 
their advice, their yeah. thinking. Because who are our investors? These guys are top managers, they're yeah. CEOs, they're, yeah. I mean, that some of the brightest minds in this country. Yeah. You guys. And just taking time to listen to you more mm. really helped us yes, make yes. huge strides. Yes. Yeah, so once we capture that during the COVID season, because mm. some of you are doctors, some of you are lawyers, some, you know, all this advice we're getting from people, mm. putting that into practice just made us just yeah, uh, be able yeah, to take yeah, off. Yeah, okay. yeah, so okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe yeah. You know, get dive, dive, dive a little deeper. Yeah, so um, I'm, 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 I'm probably going to talk about how we, how we really run Savo. Mm. Um, mm. So, of course, we started Savo at the beginning, and there are very many things we didn't mm. know. Mm. None of us, he had run a business, mm. I was, I was, I was, just from banking mm. but there are many things we didn't know mm. at the beginning mm. how do you how do you come up with a business model mm. Mm. how do you come up with a strategy for the mm. business mm. Mm. Um, how do you make decisions mm. right and uh, we thank god for for reading mm. and we started reading a number of books mm. and one of the books we read at the very beginning was good to great by john collins mm. and 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 jim collins talks about the council mm. Mm. um Possibly in other companies, people would call it EXCO, mm. you know, or the management committee, mm. but he mm. calls it the council. Mm. And this is a forum where you bring the leadership team together mm. and, and deliberate, mm. you know, on, on various issues. Mm. So in Savo at the beginning, of course, we are not a big company, so mm. everybody was in council, mm. and, and that became the organ through which we made decisions. Mm. Um, at the beginning, we spent time learning and reading and then we started questioning uh, what, what's our business model. Mm. And we drafted the business model for Savo, mm. uh, I would say, as laymen, mm. you mm. know, mm. I'd say as people with without no, the with, expertise. Without no strategy expertise. Without, yeah, without strategy expertise. Mm. But just, mm. just mm. sitting around the table and really deliberating mm. and looking at what, what does the market need? What mm. do we need to do? You know, mm. the lean, we've talked about the lean covers mm. here. We've talked mm. about you know, the business model here. So those are some of the things that we came up with mm. in the council. Mm. Mm. How does the council run? So we meet once a week, mm. and, um, and that's a place where everybody is allowed to talk. Mm. Everyone, it doesn't matter mm. that you or the other, mm. everybody's allowed to talk. Mm. There's a lot of respect one for another, mm. and everyone's idea is, is taken seriously mm. and considered. Mm. Um, and then in the council, we also encourage a lot of debates mm. Because whilst I can come up with an idea, mm. it might not be the best mm. idea. Mm. And actually mm. none of us has the best idea. Mm. So we, you come up with an idea, but there's a lot of debate, mm. very rigorous discussions. Mm. Mm. I remember t t at some point we used to <laughs> we'd actually literally <laughs> bang tables <laughs> because someone would be extremely passionate about something mm. while the other person just didn't think mm. that was the way. Makes sense. And it was okay. Mm. And the person banging the table could mm. be, could be, you know, it could be another staff member yeah, against who, Mcharo. Someone who came in a month ago. Yes, yeah. against Mcharo, yeah. literally. Yeah. Yeah. And by learning to listen to such debates, mm. we were able to honestly come up with a business model that, mm. that we are very, very, mm. very, very proud of. Mm. So we, we run this business through council. That's mm. where decisions are made. Mm. Um, that is where we, we, you know, we track our execution. Mm. You know, mm. people say that... Uh, good strategies fail at execution. Mm, mm, so it's mm. through the council that we track the execution, mm, we measure our performance. Mm, it's where we look at risks. Mm, um, we call them red flags mm, or fire alarm. Mm, so uh, you know, everyone is supposed to come up with a fire alarm. Mm, I think mm, there's danger here. Mm, and then mm, you know, we explore ways to mm, resolve whatever problem mm, there is. Mm, so mm, it is through this organ that, mm, that, Savo, that Savo has become what it has been mm. but the spirit behind it is that everybody is respected every idea is 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 really considered mm. we, we, we don't we don't vote and there's no consensus it's not, it's, it's not a popularity contest it's yes. not um, it's not consensus yes it's the best idea the best idea and it yes. could come from anybody from, really from, 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 from yeah anyone. yeah okay yeah, yeah. so okay. we are we are we are ready to talk <laughs> yeah so please um shoot we are we are, we are happy to to to, to engage yeah. um the power of talk and, and maybe you might ask yourself okay so you guys are sharing about your marriage and so on but what does that have to do with me yeah, yeah. one of the things that i think i have made mistakes is thinking that for me to invest well for me to live well i have to be brilliant 
I have to come mm. up with all these um, super, super sharp ideas. Mm. But now, more and more I realize, I, I actually don't. Mm. Mm. I just need to have around me a few, few people who I trust and I can be completely vulnerable with. Does it, uh, is there a risk? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Is there a risk of me sharing with my wife everything? Mm. Of course. She can, you know, <laughs> use it against me or whatever it is. Yeah. Is there a risk of um, sharing stuff with your, with your colleagues at work? Of course there is. But once there is um, mutual respect, yes. once there is a shared purpose, once mm. there is a shared vision, mm. then the gains far outweigh uh, the risks. Yes. Yeah, because again, uh, for those, if you're like me, who has a brilliant idea every morning, okay, you cannot have a brilliant idea every morning. Mm. Yeah. But when you listen to people, you know, okay, don't do this, don't do don't this. Do this. Don't yeah. Do this. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if there's some, any, any, whatever, any comments? Uh, Felix Jerry, thanks mm -hmm. for watching. Um, Chamwada David, mm -hmm. great insights. Thanks, David, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's all okay. from Facebook. That's all from Facebook. Yes. Uh, Instagram. Instagram, um, <laughs> someone is asking, mm -hmm. is it, I, I'm not sure what your name is, mm -hmm. uh, it's written, and there she was Jojo. That, that, so that's, that's, that's your that's, name? That's, that's the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what is the management strategy at Savo? Mm -hmm. um, the management strategy at Savo, so that's, that's what we were, we were just sort of exploring right now. Uh, so we, we manage through the team. Mm, mm. We manage through the council. Mm, mm. So the council I have just explained is the main council. Mm. It's called the, the general council. It's called council. the general council. The big one. Yes. So that is where everybody attends. Uh, that's where this, we create the business model. We create the strategies. We create, um, we track performance. You know, we track execution. Mm, mm. Issues are we solved. We create the culture. We create the, the culture. The biggest thing about yes, this place. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the general council. Mm -hmm. In addition to the general council, we then have uh, what we call departmental council. So for example, finance has their own council. That's mm -hmm. where they meet, they discuss you know, matters relating to finance, any challenges, and they're able to do their daily operations through that council. Mm -hmm. But anything that needs to be, you know, the attention of everybody, then is presented to the general council, mm -hmm. yes? Uh, through the fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Or it could also be, we call it the trumpet. The trumpet, when something nice happens, it comes to the general council and then we, you know, we, we celebrate it, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's departmental council and then we have something called thematic council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thematic council have specific responsibilities. Mm -hmm. There's a thematic council that is responsible for culture, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. There's a thematic council that is responsible for continuous improvement, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. We believe in good enough never is. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to get to a place where we feel we have reached, mm -hmm. yeah? So that thematic council is responsible for just making sure we are continuously improving, we are continuously getting better. Mm. And there are other, the there's other one two. For strategy. Yes, there's yeah, one for strategy. strategy. There's one for issues. Yes, there's one for yeah. issues. How that yes. we are, if, if we are all intelligent, hardworking, highly, highly, highly opinionated people, yes. of course there will there be will issues. issues. Yeah. Yes. And, and we use those, we embrace, we don't, we don't shy away from yes. issues. Yes. We embrace them we embrace and them. use them to, yeah. yeah. In fact, we say um, we use conflicts to build relationships. That's, that's the mantra mm. of that thematic mm. council. Mm. So mm. Through, this, through these four councils, the mm. departmental council and the general council, mm. that's how, the, the, that's, mm. that's how mm. we are able then to run, mm. to run yeah. Savo. So you can imagine we have four key departments. Yes and four key themes, and each of these is run by a council, plus the general council. Yeah. And there are times, um, I mean like, like um, there are times where a department has an, is doing something, they make a decision, but we realize this decision has a cultural effect on, yeah. the, on the company. Mm. So this departmental council and that uh, council in charge of culture meet, and they really, really fight it out until mm. they get to agree. Yeah. 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 So, there's a, a, the danger that I think mm. you will find yourself either at the family or, or, the, or at the workplace is pretending to make people talk and then you don't take the ideas into practice. That all this uh, Mcharo must approve. Mm. Mcharo, no, 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 mm. no, no. If two people are allowed to talk, 
let them be able to make that decision. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks very tricky, but for us it has worked very well because people own it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So as 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 um as as a father in the home, mm. my sons also even at home we have a sort of counsel. Yeah, because we can talk and our children listen, mm. and they talk and we are forced to listen. Mm. And when the decision is reached, it's the best decision carries the day. Yes, it's not it's yes. not the, who is the highest ranked mm. person. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me read this question. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Josh Kikuvi mm -hmm. <laughs> just says, Josh says, thank you again, thank you again. Mcharo is on record to disliking hierarchy. Mm -hmm. uh, who, um, then this is his question. Mm -hmm. Who takes ownership of mistakes mm -hmm. uh, or failures once adopted by the leadership, mm -hmm. regardless of the source of the source of that idea? Mm -hmm. Can you share one or two costly mistakes that mm. you're willing to share as mm. a result of that openness, especially mm. from the council? Ah. Yes. I, 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 could, I, could, I could tell yeah, that. Yeah, take that. There's a time we, I'm a fan of analogies. Um, so there's a time we asked ourselves, if you were to be body parts, mm. what part would you be? And we just sort of, this was the early days. And I, I, I chose to be the skin. The skin without the rest of the body is just a lump of just uh, ngozi, isn't it? Mm. But the skin is, is the protector. Yeah. yeah. So if a decision is made by a certain council yeah. and I don't get to know, most times I don't get to know, and something goes wrong, yeah. I take the fall. Yes. It, 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 the buck stops with me. When it comes to mistakes, the buck stops with me and my job is to protect everyone else, just like the skin. Yeah. If, 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 if the body is to get burnt, it's the skin that gets burnt first. first yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If you're to get pierced, it's the skin that gets pierced first. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So ultimately, the leader needs to take the, the, the responsibility yes. For, yes. for that. Most yeah. times it's uh, both of us. Yeah. But I must think the beauty of giving this thing to the guys mm. is they carry a lot. In fact, until recently, we had to force them and tell them, okay, guys, delegation works very well, yeah. but you must shout. Don't, don't carry the whole thing. You know, when, when things are going wrong, don't carry it on your own. Yeah. I'll share, you have, you also have to share two. I'll two share two. Yeah. One of them was laser place. Mm. Um, we built this thing put a swimming pool in Nongai, yeah. mm. and then the pool started leaking. <laughs> yeah? And nobody knew. Yeah. We could probably have uh, repaired it without anyone knowing. But mm. we came and said, nope, every investor has a right to know. To know. Yeah. And we wrote a letter yeah. to every investor. Mm. I did not have the solution then. And we wrote and said, you know, here we are, and we don't have a solution. Mm. And Maybe over half of those investors were really angry. Mm. Yeah. How, how can you write to us and tell us that you don't have a solution? But I didn't have a solution then. Mm. But I told them we will not rest until we, we are able to find a solution. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that that I think was something else. I don't yeah. know something you can think about. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I think I think um, um, maybe just maybe one thing. Um, we have had a challenge I think with a contractor before. Mm, 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 uh, mm. So so ideally because of you know because of the way our people take responsibility mm, for mm. what they do. Mm. So we have what we call this you know a master builder who's in charge mm. of building a certain mm, a certain mm, building. Mm. And and he's struggling with the contractor mm, and he's mm. really, really struggling with mm, the contractor. Mm, mm. And um, and just taking it on, mm, taking it mm, on mm. until it got to a place where they totally could not mm. agree. So by the time they couldn't agree, mm. you know, I think the grievances had, had gone quite mm. quite far. Mm. Uh, but but in such instances, as Mchara said, mm. we take full responsibility. Mm. Mm. I think the mm. first time that happened, I think mm. we came in and sort of, mm. in a sense, mm. <laughs> sort of cleared sort the problem out. or sorted yeah. it out yeah. but yeah. but progressively we are seeing even if our people have a problem with mm. a contractor mm. or a supplier mm. they're able to resolve it mm. now what mm. we have said is just that you must state it as a fire alarm mm. that's what mm. now we call a fire alarm yes, yes. you must come so, and say so, so that, so that we, we, we don't wait until the very end until the very end just tell us hey there's something something's happening yes i can and see yeah, smoke yeah yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and 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 then they have the they, they have the um, I think they have the power to then say, I can see smoke, but I think I'll be able to mm. sort it. Yeah, or I yeah. can see smoke, and I need I help. Need help. 
Yes. Yeah, and yeah. and either either is okay. I, 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 In fact, what we say, not saying that you can see smoke, or actually mm. for it to materialize to a problem, mm -hmm. and you didn't say mm. that is actually considered a sin, mm. like mm. an mm. unforgivable, an unforgivable sin. sin. Yes. But if you said it early enough, mm. um, there there's no repercussions. Mm. We mm. all mm. rally behind you mm. and and find mm. a solution. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Uh, Ashley Kere, when buying property. There are additional costs amounting to about 100k. Should you not include those additional costs as part of the buying price when advertising on brochures ETC for transparency? Um, okay, yeah, you are the investment person. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so the Ash, Ashley, mm -hmm. yeah. So the the amount in addition is uh, is is not the price. It's not the price. The amount in addition is the conveyancing costs mm. and the stamp duty mm. to enable you register the unit and end up owning it. Mm. So that money cannot be added to the price because it, it doesn't even belong to the developer. Mm. So if I, if I add it as part of the price, it means that's money for the developer. Mm. Now a huge part of that 100,000 mm. is stamp duty that is government. actually paid to the government. And at, when time comes for you to pay, you'll realize that you can actually literally pay it yourself to mm. the government mm. or pay it to the lawyer mm. who then assists you with the process of remitting it to the government. Mm. So it's not part of the purchase price mm. and it doesn't mm. come to Savo as mm. an income. Mm. Either Savo or any other developer mm. as an income, no. Mm. It actually goes to the government mm. or the lawyer. Mm. So that's why it cannot be included in the price. Mm. However, it is included in the agreement for sale. Mm. So in the agreement for sale, it's clearly stated mm. there's this additional cost and w yeah. another additional cost is to cover X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's not paid at the beginning. Mm -hmm. A small percentage is, but the bulk of it is paid it at, is the at the end when the project is done. Mm -hmm. Though what, what we are learning and what we are just, you know, requesting our, the, our, our team to do is to always, when, when I'm having a conversation with you about an investment, I tell you. Be very clear. It's in addition to the purchase price, there is this other mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. Be very, very clearly mm -hmm. at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I hope I hope uh, that uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I hope that I, I, and it is standard practice in real estate yeah. the world over. Yes. When you see land is going for fifty thousand Kenya shillings, yes. there will always be legal fees. There will always be stamp duty yes. over and above that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Helen Guya, Karibu sana, watching Kindly, Gerald Kiragu. I love it that you listen to each, each one of your team members. Mm. I was once told, listening is a skill. Not everyone can, but mm -hmm. we all can learn it. Yes, yes. you're very right. I think not mm -hmm. everyone is born with that skill. I, mean, I definitely was not born with that skill. Yeah, yeah. I was born with the, the skill of uh, the mm. maneno, maneno. Yeah, but, but we can all learn. We can all learn. I think maybe to just to just maybe re-emphasize why why listening is important. Mm -hmm. um, number one, we 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 are all trained in a certain way, so we have a world view mm -hmm. or we have mm -hmm. a way of thinking mm -hmm. that is that sometimes it's very, you know, in a straight line, mm, yeah? Mm, like I, I think finance a lot more, mm, a lot more mm, times than, mm, than he does. Mm, and everybody has that, that which they think about mm, more. Mm, so mm, if you don't listen, mm, you, you rob yourself, you know, the opportunity, the opportunity to then learn from others who look <coughs> at things from a very different perspective. Mm, For mm. example, here in Savo, uh, we have very young people who, who just think, outside the box. Mm -hmm. So if the rest of us, because <laughs> we are very old, mm. if we don't listen to them, the Savo as you know it will not be Savo as you mm. know it. Mm. Because the mm. ideas these young men have mm. are brilliant. Mm. And you know, mm. they're alive with the times. Mm. So mm. so that, that's the advantage of mm. listening. Mm. And then a lot of times we all have blind spots. Mm. There are yes. things about myself that I don't know, but other people know. So if I allow you know, other people to be able to give me feedback and I listen, mm. then I'll be able to also know my blind spots mm. and then be able to become a better person, yeah, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, I think you want to avoid the scenario, you know, the story of the emperor mm. who was naked. Because he just doesn't listen. Yeah. Maybe to okay. add on to that, before you read that one, let me just add uh, something that maybe you could add. How do you enable people to fight well especially when stakes are high. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want me to answer that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Take, take, take it and then I can also have something. To add, how mm -hmm. do we enable people to fight? <laughs> to fight well. Especially, especially when, when stakes are high. Are high. Mm -hmm. 
So I think as, as leaders, we've had to learn. Mm. Um, mm. The truth is it's not easy. Mm. Yeah, mm. if you sat here and said it's very easy, mm. we would be lying. Mm. It's, it's not easy, mm. but every time we have just given them the benefit of mm. doubt mm. and listened, mm. we have seen the results. Mm. Mm. We've mm. seen the results and the result has been mm. overwhelming. Yeah. It's a lot easier for him to mm to actually listen mm. when the stakes are high than mm. me. Mm. I, I become mm. maybe defensive sometimes. Mm. Mm. But, but, but even I am learning, because mm. I can see. I can see the benefits. Mm. I, can see, I can see the fruits of mm. actually listening. Mm. And, mm. And, and I think the other thing is, immediately we learn to mm. listen, mm. then mm. The, the rest of the team becomes mm. very courageous. Yeah. They yeah. become yeah. courageous to share, mm. yes. Mm. Let, let me let me add something. Give a practical example. Aki e toki to trans that is not uh, in so much danger. So the one of the highest stakes in any work environment is what's in it for me. Yeah. Um, whether it's a business, whether it's even even my team. Mm. We are all here about the purpose. But obviously at the end of the day, and we encourage everyone yeah. to think, you know, you have to do meaningful work. It has to be work based on value. Yeah. Values. Mm -hmm. But you must also get value. value. So I think at the beginning of the year, either just before COVID or just after, mm. we were debating around uh, compensation. Yeah, we usually give our guys a certain percentage, and the whole thing was: do we give this thing based on? Do we give it in cash? Do we give it in units? Mm. Do we give it? You know, what do we do? And it, it was. It was tough. It was, <laughs> it was tough. Yeah, because everybody yeah. now. You know, once once you put money on the table, mm. that is when I think money doesn't change who you are; it reveals who you are. Yeah. So everyone is is busy fighting, yes. I'm busy fighting for the company. This mm. guy is fighting for the company and himself yeah. that way. Mm. This one is fighting for the company and himself that way. And I remember we were in this now our council, done for culture. Yeah, we call it Croc Builders. Uh, let me just talk a bit about Croc Builders. You you have options: either be a time teller. I just look now and just say, it's um, this time, mm. that time, yeah? And I look like a genius, but I'm the only one who knows the time. Mm. Or I can be a clock builder. Mm. Build clock that everybody can tell the time, so it's mm. very easy. Yeah. So we call this, uh, this council clock builders. Mm. And it was a really heated argument. One of mm. those things where I know if I get it wrong, the unga I take to my children becomes less. Mm. And Isaac just asked us a very simple question. Mm. What's the purpose? What's our purpose? Mm. Yeah. What's our purpose of survival? Ultimately, that's what, it, that, that's what everything boils down to. Yeah. Is uh, this decision, is it in line with our purpose? Mm. If yes, we go. If no, we don't. Mm. Yeah. So now I'm learning to, to listen to such things. Mm. Um, two weeks ago, I think we had another very heated debate mm. in, the, in the office. Now we are doing it through our WhatsApp group. Yeah. Uh, put many many knows and one of our guys here, the guy who's uh, one of the technical guys here, Sam, the head of this team, mm. he just asks, what are the facts? You know, sometimes just mm. just going down to that simple level, mm. what are the facts? Mm. Then you realize, okay, emotions, outside the window, uh, ego, yeah, um, trying to manage people, mm. you know, soothing the boss. Those are the dangerous things. So yeah. once everybody is free, and, and people have to feel like they, they, they literally have to own it. Yeah. When they own it, and then they can know, okay, Micharo has taken that stand, Emily has taken that stand, and I can just come and say, you know what, Micharo, you are wrong, Emily, you are wrong, this, this is. is the way. Mm. And uh, the person who asks the best questions, and sometimes it's not even the answer. The questions. The, the best questions, yeah. I think, the questions. Uh, they, they help yeah. this to, thing mm. to, to, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mary Achero is watching. Thanks. <laughs> Nduta, that's mm. my sister. <laughs> I struggle to mm. call her. Uh, Mwangi Andrew Kabusho, has this management style had an impact on employee retention at Savo? What's the staff turnover rate like? Mm -hmm. um, I'll try to, to answer it. I can't, I can't really say what's the turnover like. We are very fanatical about right people, right? So at the beginning, I talked about reading a book called Good to Great by Jim Collins, and we learned about having the right people and, and what are the attributes of a right person. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, previously we had discussed we don't like hierarchy. So, mm -hmm. you know, management levels are not there. Supervision, mm -hmm. you know, or mm -hmm. micromanaging is not there. Mm -hmm. And you can only be able to achieve that if you have right people. Mm -hmm. um, even from my experience between Savo and, and the bank, I mean, there was a lot of micromanagement, mm -hmm. I think, in the bank. Mm -hmm. And you'd find you'd have, you'd have many people who are not right, mm -hmm. but they, they politic their way around or they just hide in the crowd. But when you have a small team and you're very determined to have right people, it is very clear that the, the system actually just exposes you mm. if you're not right person. Mm. Because you, have, you don't have a job. Mm. Mm. You have a responsibility. Mm. Meaning you must deliver. You can't, mm. you can't give excuses of why not, why not, why not. Mm. You have a responsibility mm. that you have to, you have to deliver. Mm. Uh, as a right person, you need to be wired like, mm. like, like Savo, mm. really, in terms of your values. Mm. Um, the other thing is you need to have like a 100% hit rate. Mm. You know, when you say you'll do, you, you do. actually do it, mm. right? <laughs> so you don't promise and then you don't mm. get it done. Mm. Um, and then what else? Uh, you need to have window mirror maturity. Mm. Mm. Like, so s when something mm. goes wrong, you take you responsibility. responsibility. When something you know, when something great happens, you look for other reasons to attribute mm. the good to, mm. you know, mm. you could attribute it to luck, mm. to your team player, mm. you know, to anybody else. Mm. But Ex you take- Accept yourself. Accept yourself. But you take the responsibility mm. for failures. Yeah. Now, mm. with such attributes of right people, mm. it's mm. very easy for the person who's not right mm. to, to just be seen mm. by everybody. Mm. So for that reason, we have had to let go of some people mm. over, yeah. over, over, oh, oh, over oh. the last five years. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Uh, but increasingly, we are learning to get better at mm. selection. Mm. Uh, increasingly, we are learning to get better at training at the beginning. Like now, we have an internship program mm. for about for a year. year. It, yeah. takes, it takes a year to get hired at Savo. At Savo. That's, how long, that's how long the interview lasts. Last, yes. And all this is because of lessons learned. Yeah, because yeah. of lessons learned. Yeah. So in that yeah. year, we just need to really really be sure that you're the right person mm. before mm. then you're onboarded mm. onboarded fully yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I think i think um i'll mention two things one as a young organization don't fear losing people mm. don't 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 hold on to you are not you're not the civil service yeah good companies let go of people bad companies let go of people the difference is why yeah, the, the, the churn rate, the turnover rate, mm. our zones has been quite high. Mm. It has been quite high, but it is the reason why that's important. So if you stick with the wrong people, you, you can't move. And the second thing is the way we present Savo, the way when you hear whether it is Sally the Realtor or our laborers or whoever it is talking, mm. Mm there is a tendency to think that it's easy. <laughs> There's a tendency to think that we are all kumbaya, we love yeah. one another. Yes, we have the kumbaya. Yes, we mm. love one another. Yes, mm. we eat a lot of cake, <laughs> celebrate everybody's birthday. If somebody's going through a hard time, we surround them. However, we expect you to... You, you, you can't complain about a bad working environment at Savo because you have a right and a responsibility to create the right working environment. Yeah. You can't yeah. complain about being treated badly mm. because you have a right and responsibility to treat others well. Mm. You can't create about, oh, the boss didn't allow me well, there is no boss to allow you or disallow you to do anything. You are just expected to get the job done. Mm. So, I mean, you must be sharp, you must be passionate, you must be in the right seat, you must understand the work, you must care about the customers, you must care about other people, you must mm. care about the purpose. I have seen people at Savo who don't sleep well at night. The level of stress is too it's high. Lot, yeah. And it becomes even higher mm. when you come to the office and everyone is laughing. <laughs> Yeah? yeah, when my guy is here, instead of going out for it's called what Runda, instead of going out to enjoy the Friday, yeah. they're here. Mm. Yeah. Then after this, they'll be busy doing the post analysis and what have you. Yeah, yeah? some yeah. of you have come and seen our people on a Saturday, on a Sunday. Mm. These are young, energetic people. Mm. It's, it's a difficult place, mm. Mm. it's a difficult place, and that's why, if, I mean, when we realize we don't have the the, the intelligence to spot and pick the right person immediately, we made our hiring process become, become a year. Mm -hmm. And now it's getting even worse. 
We are now, we, we have a, a young group of guys, we call them young achievers. Mm -hmm. These are sharp people who are still in the university. Mm -hmm. Our son being one of them. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. That it will take you two years. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in third year, so your third year and your fourth year. Mm -hmm. If you're doing engineering, it is your fourth year and your fifth year. Mm -hmm. If you're doing architecture, it's your fifth year and your sixth year. Yeah. Two years for us to understand that you could be one of us. Mm -hmm. And then you go through one year internship and then you start. Yeah. So it's, mm. it's, a, it's a difficult place and I think we have taken too long on that one, but we feel it's, it's necessary. Now, yeah. however, at the family level, you, you can't choose the right people. So if you are not married, choose the right spouse. <laughs> um, and, and it requires also a lot of humility to, to sit down and um, our last born doesn't talk much. Yeah. I, I am a vigorous one. My, my, our first born is also extremely vigorous. Madame has her opinions. Then Emmanuel would listen and listen. Mm. <laughs> Say, I think you guys are missing the point. Now, I'm close to 50. And here comes my 16-year-old son saying we are missing the point. And he's trying to put us right. And for me to listen to that sage advice, <laughs> it's not <laughs> <laughs> So listening is not easy. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me look at Instagram. Thanks, thanks everyone on Instagram. There's, there's a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. Nico, Nico Chilo. Emily, you just talked about the book Good to Great. As a couple, which top five books would you recommend um, around investing or marriage? Yeah, just sure. uh, life. Just, okay. just, just shoot one. So good to great, number one. Good to great. Um, Blue Ocean Strategy, number two. Blue Ocean Strategy, if you're going to do any kind of business, uh, put it there, number yes, two. Yes, um, yes. Running Lean. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Right there, uh, I don't. I've, I've not seen it. I've not seen it in the in the bookshops, but mm. it's there. I think you can get it online. Yeah, uh, just yeah, a PDF. Yeah, running yeah, link. Uh, I yeah. think it uh, is wonderful. Mm. Um, we have a man. I don't have. I've never read the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yes, but I've I've watched uh, Covey's uh, talks. Mm. But uh, Emily went for training way back. Yeah, yeah, many years ago, mm. and we took. Uh, she was given a wonderful manual, so we mm. took it and scanned it. And for us, that's a, mm. it's a must read. Yeah. It makes life so much, so easier. much, mm. so much easier. And, and, and Seven Habits is good because it's, it's the entire spectrum. Yes. You know, family, just your life as a person, yes. work related. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But for us, yeah. I think we are maybe are very lazy. Mm. So we t the same strategies we use in the home, is it the, the same, same strategies we use in the, yeah. in the office, yes. same strategies yes. for the marriage. Mm. Yeah, we just have. Like from running lean, yeah. there's that called the lean canvas. Yeah. We have a lean canvas for our marriage. Yeah. There's traction <laughs> as well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Traction, traction. traction is, is, is a, um, a wonderful manual. It's mm. how to. Jim yes. Collins' books give you the, the, yeah. the philosophy. Yes. Of the books like running lean or traction. traction. They're simple books. Yes, yes, yes. But written by, I think, practitioners of business. Yes, yes. These are yes. Not tr they're not written by authors, mm. by big time authors. Mm. They're written by people who have been down in the grind. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. But generally, I think just keep reading. Keep um, reading. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, for, for, we will we'll probably just, some, we can probably just list the books down. Mm. Yeah? Uh, and, yeah. And, and, and share. Mm. And of mm. course, the Bible. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yes. and sorry, of course the sorry, Bible. Sorry, sorry. Um, do you have any questions? I have, I have something from Ashley. Emily agreed about the additional cost. However, these were not disclosed to me by your team up front. Okay. I okay. learned about the cost later in the mm. sales agreement of our Chama. Just an area of, of improvement. Okay. I, I agree with you fully. Mm. Um, I think uh, we have a responsibility. So, so much as we will not put it as the price, but the very first conversation mm. and i think all, all our guys all our fire partners we call yeah. ourselves team fire partners mm. fire is financial independence retire early so every fire partner has a responsibility the first discussion the mm. first verbal discussion yes. to disclose everything yeah so uh, my sincere apologies um i really hope you'll still invest with us yeah, yeah. If, even with those costs um if you do the math i think you'll still find that it, it, it mm. makes a lot of sense yeah um, I think related to that, uh, Tony Omondi, thanks for the thanks for the talk. Just joined and heard about the word legal fees. I'm wondering why would I be compelled to pay legal fees? It would make sense for Savo to bear the cost of drafting and execution of an agreement. This goes a long way in ensuring financial independence. Uh, yes, Tony, um, 
So the purpose of, of, of the legal fees, let me give you an example. If you're investing in, you're buying a house or you're buying land independently by yourself, uh, you would have an advocate who would then do the conveyancing process for you end to end. Like they'd make sure you actually get the new title in your name. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we, have, we have the project lawyer mm -hmm. and the, the legal fees that you're paying for allows you to ultimately get your ownership documents at mm -hmm. the end. Mm -hmm. So this lawyer is the one who's going to process your title. Uh, you're not going to get another lawyer to process the title for mm -hmm. you because the project is one. Mm -hmm. The titles are processed by one lawyer. Mm -hmm. So our, our lawyer will then ensure that every investor ends up with their title mm -hmm. and a share certificate. Mm -hmm. And those are the two documents that then make up your ownership mm -hmm. documents for the project. And, and for so that's, it, it's that's highly, the reason. It's highly, it's highly negotiated. It's not yeah. a big amount. Yeah. When you hear 100K, most of that is government uh, Most of that is, is stamp is, duty. Is stamp duty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that we, we don't have control over. But thank sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, what? Ashley. Sorry, Ashley, mm, for that, and mm, that's a, a lesson for mm, us. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Um, go ahead. Okay, uh, but Gerald, uh, Emily has put it right. Uh, do you uh, you do not look at work as a job, but a, as a responsibility? Mm. Uh, something new I have gained uh, in the Savo family. Yeah, wonderful. I think that that's 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 very true. Anything else you have yeah. there? I think we have a problem in Instagram. Is Instagram something? Live video ended. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, as you saw that, um, Ashley, uh, you're still there. When purchasing property, say I have a five-year payment plan, why do I have to pay for costs as from practical completion date as opposed to transfer date? Yet, I do not start enjoying benefits until then. As to which costs? I, I don't know. Uh, legal fees, maybe some okay. duty? No. Some no. duty, no. Some duty, you, you don't pay for it. You only pay for it at the very end, mm -hmm. once the unit is being transferred to you. Mm -hmm. After practical completion, it, the, the cost that you probably start paying for are uh, like deposits, mm -hmm. water meter, electricity meter, mm -hmm. the initial mm -hmm. service charge, mm -hmm. because um, you, 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 you take possession of the house. Mm, yeah, mm. a tenant moves in, mm. so we need to cover those costs. Mm, mm, but mm. some duty is paid way at, at the end. At the very end. Yes, at yeah, the very yeah, end. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, Joyce Ngutu, hello. Where do you advertise for young achievers? Ah, uh, very good. Um, uh, some some will send a, a link where you can um, you can just put in your details and then and then we can um, or somewhere. I think even the website is something. Yeah, okay, but some, so, so, some will send a link and then you can, you can just reach out to, to, to him. Wonderful. It would be nice to, to join us if you are really, really good. Yeah. Evans Musomi, the costs and consideration topic is a good customer education content piece. Thank you for shedding light. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Evans. And it's always a joy to, to have you here. Mm. Okay, you have um, nine more minutes. Lucan, mm -hmm. I'm interested in the internship program. Mm -hmm. How do I apply or join the internship program? I think Sam will put the link. Yes. Um, for Milayo, Ale. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, folks. I honestly want to meet you both one mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Oh, karibu sana. Hey, kuna swali hapa, Master. Sunny Gali. Sunny Gali. Hi, Emily. How did you know Leonard was the one? <laughs> Was the vision for Savo there then, or were you both trying to venture into your careers? <laughs> anyway, I'm laughing at the second bit. Let her oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll start with the second bit. Mm -hmm. So yes, the vision for Savo wasn't there. At all? Uh, at all. I actually didn't know I was going to ever run a business um, mm. at, that, at that point. Uh, how, how did I know he was the one? Oh God, I feel like getting a bit cheery, like God no, just my, led my, me. My good looks told that can handsome, perhaps. <laughs> yes, the good looks told that can handsome. But I mean, Mchao just became my friend like from the, from the get-go. I mean, and he was, he was a really, really good friend. Um, somehow we just, we just connected and, and he really used to make me laugh. He still what does. Say, we used to talk, <laughs> he used to make me laugh. No, no, no. He, he still makes me laugh. He has a very hearty laughter, mm -hmm. and um, so I just, I just, I just fell in love with him. And then um, I'll, I'll, I'll just say something here publicly for yeah. So like when I met him, I was in campus, and he said, "If you're not going to get a first class, I won't marry you." 
And I don't know why that was, and I just decided I will get a first class. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether it was mm -hmm. to, to get married or just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. But yes, um, yeah, it, it, it has been it has been an interesting journey. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she, I think the spirit must have led her because she came to the university and came and sat at my desk. I mean, really, the entire University <laughs> of Nairobi. I mean, all those buildings, all those classrooms <laughs> in our class, all those desks, and she just came and chose. She came and sat at my seat. <laughs> then I came and sat at the table. The rest mama. Is history. Hey, yeah. The rest is history. She was in first year. You know, even when they come in hot and fresh, they can nyaku Oh gosh. And I asked her out. The day I asked her out, I was wearing an overall, a dirty red, red overall. overall that had paint. It had paint. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And I told her I'd like you to be my girlfriend, and she said yes. So. Nafikiri. Like the paint, I require me niangali akona mbele akona ujama. Lazima akona potential. Ata kama ni mfupi. Because you see around. Mufupi, na mudomo pia helped, eh? and my and my dancing skills. Oh yes. Th th those days, they are gone now, but uh, I had some. So, sorry, yeah. sorry, we are, we are now veering off. Yeah. yeah. Even our careers, careers came later. Everything came, we were students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Broke, broke, I'm sorry. But I think the um, other than being told to get a first class, mm -hmm. just uh, uh, okay. I won't say I, I, I'm. Nowadays, I don't feel younger than you, but yeah, mm. I was so much younger. At that time, it felt like I was so much older. Mm. But, mm. Why is, why is older? but he, just, he just had wisdom in the sense that, I mean, he guided, he guided me through my career. He made me believe in myself, um, things that I didn't think I could do. He just made me believe in myself. As I moved up, you know, my career, he kept encouraging me. He kept telling me I can. So I think I, think I ended up becoming the person I am. A lot of it because of... Of, of the man who was behind me, mm -hmm. so to speak. So Be behind, yeah. behind every successful woman, there is a, there's a <laughs> man. No, but I, I yeah. think um, I just saw. I just saw who she is, mm -hmm. and uh, so I, I don't think I ever created anything. Mm -hmm. It's just when you see someone and you see the the, the, the quality. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met her when she was studying accounts. The, the first time I saw her, she's studying accounts. First time, she had a rainbow heavy and I saw accounts. Naiko University, see ni Yeah. Um, Evans, um, five more minutes. Evans, could you talk about snowballing investments where you use two properties or three to buy one? This one, I don't think I have understood. Have you, have you understood? Okay, I will, I will yeah, check. Really take it, uh, could you talk about snowballing investments where you use two properties or three to buy one? Um, Snowballing, uh, uh, okay, I have not understood. I know, I know I've, 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 read, I've read a book by that title by Warren Buffett. Mm. Um, but I, do, I, I do not think I have fully understood. So mm. I will check and I will do it on the comments. I will, I will reply to you when you text. When you turn down. Gerald, have you ever considered putting up seminars for young people? Um, well, here we are. This is this is part of it. If if maybe later, um, Martha, our very own Martha, will also start um, financial. It's I know it's firm. Financial what? Financial independence with Martha. Financial independence with Martha, specifically for young people. Then maybe Martha Bana, when you start, when you come to your glorious place. You can invite me once in a while <laughs> to give my tidbits. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we will be doing this, um, but uh, but Martha Martha will start um, something on financial independence, and uh, Sally the Realtor will start another channel called Well Sally the Realtor. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you have it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. I go. Mm -hmm. uh, Angie Guna, you're blessed to have a group with similar goals, despite their unique mindsets. Um, it's very difficult to pick out investment partners with mm. similar goals and mm. interests. Mm. That is that is very true. Mm. I think, yeah, I think honestly, God has been gracious. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Mwangi Andrew, again, this might be off topic, but the one, the one year internship is interesting. Uh, my only wish is that these interns are fairly reasonably compensated. Mm -hmm. I've been an intern in the past and was only paid with, with exposure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean with the exposure? Anyway, um, okay. 
Uh, yes, yes, they are, they are fairly compensated. Yeah. Uh, again, um, can I just call you Ale? <laughs> Is Young Achievers same as internship? You want to answer that? No, uh, the interns, you are done in school, you have a degree, you come and you start. Um, the Young Achievers, you are still in school. You yes. are still, you are still in school. So we will push you to to get, uh, I mean, like the guy who is finishing this building, someone else started it. The guy who started this project um, is called Daniel Toh. And um, he came in as one of, in that fellowship, one yes. of those interns. At, at that point, we had a young guy who was in third year. Yeah. I think at the very beginning of his third year, fourth year. And um, he used to, you know, holidays, he would come work for us and go. And when Toh moved to, to Royal Suburbs, yeah. Ted was left here with like one year experience. But because he had been with us as a student, he's now able to handle That's something that is this huge. Mm. Yeah, again, in his mid 20s. I mean, this is done by people my age. Yeah. Yeah, but this guy's in his mid 20s. So that, that's a wonderful thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, Nguhi Muturi, I think, as we come to a close. Uh, I love your walk down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lessons learned. Uh, lessons learned. Uh, that you are someone who inspires me. Who inspires me. and solve your money issues, mm. you have sorted out 80% of your marriage. Mm. Yeah? Mm. One of the biggest things we had because of talking yeah. is that yeah. it, has, it has helped our marriage. And mm. not that it is perfect, but it has given it strength mm. to withstand mm. mawimbi. Now mawimbi ni mengi. It yeah. happens all the, all time. the time. Yeah. yeah. But then whatever happens, mm. we can, uh, I, I must say yeah. that I bring 80% of the mawimbi, 20% from this side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think our, one of the other fruits is our parenting philosophy. Uh, we learned to talk to our kids as well from mm. when they were very young, mm. yeah? Mm. And we've seen that really mold the boys they have become. Mm. Uh, mm. Our sons just speak their minds. They are very confident mm. and they just speak their minds. Sometimes, you know, when they're visiting, you want to tell them, eh, eh, eh. But again, we just let them be. So some, some where, where they visit, some people might wonder, eh, oh, they're, they're, they're too open. They're too open. But yeah. but yeah, it has really helped. And they know mm. even now with teenage, mm. as they go through mm. teenage, especially the second born. They born-born. can ask us about anything. literally anything. They yes. ask and my, my wife is like, huh? Number three, fruit, uh, investment philosophy. Yeah. 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 Because we didn't know, mm. we learned on the go. Yes. Yeah, so just yeah. talking, talking, yeah. talking, talking helps us see, okay, let's invest this way, mm. let's not, yeah. Yeah, so. okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, our ability to work together. Mm. I think mm. Um, mm. Uh, when, when I was leaving the bank, very many people ask me, are you, are you sure are you, you want sure? to go and work with your husband? Mm. And Especially uh, the one who talks that much. <laughs> mm. and, and I think it was possible because I knew mm. I, I have a right. Mm. I have a seat, I've earned a seat mm. on the table. Mm. I can mm. share my ideas. Mm. I can be who I am. Mm. And I have something to contribute. Because I knew over the time, over, over the past, mm. I had been given the, is it being given the opportunity? We had created an environment mm. where I'm able to just be and mm. speak and yes. and it's okay mm. and it's not seen as you're the woman no 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 mm. we are <laughs> they're equal. They're equal. yeah they're equal. in the real sense yeah. of the word finally uh, just the summer journey yeah. the kind of decisions we have made um the few successes that we have had yeah. through talk mm. um understanding risk yes. through talk raising yeah. the fire alarms mm. uh, dealing with mistakes mm. which are many and mm. we are still making them trying to yeah. learn every day, mm. um, handling risks. Yes. Yeah, so yes. all that has been mm. through talk. So yes, yes. We, we, we have really reaped a lot mm. from, um, from, from talk. From, yeah, 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 yeah we have. We have. Funga sana. Mm. Um, I think 
this this has been this has been interesting. Um, and and yeah, let's let's talk. Let's keep talking. Um, let's keep talking even in the mtandao. Let's keep talking. Keep talking to one another. Um, so long as so long as you value the other person and so long as you have mutual respect, you will make a lot of headway mm. by just allowing yeah. each other to be able to speak their mind. Yeah. Yes. Remember, get someone who inspires you to do <laughs> and be better. Better. God bless. Thank you. Good night. Yes. Oh, oh, on the Facebook group, um, you've sent the links? Yeah, please, please join the group. Um, then we can talk, talk better. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, share, like. Subscribe. Share, like, subscribe. What else? Uh, I don't comment. know. Comment. <laughs> God bless you guys. Bless it's been you. a wonderful hour. Bye. Thank wonderful. you. Bye. Bye.